All right, we're into the month of August, and it's another edition of Ram Country. <clears throat> Brian Roth, voice of the Rams with you. Great to have you back with us, and happy to talk some women's basketball today with Leah Davis, the redshirt senior for the Rams women's basketball team, originally <laughs> Colorado Springs. Leah, good to talk to you, and I know you guys are back on campus, and well, nothing is the normal of old, but I imagine it has to feel good to be back in the gym. Yes, it does. It feels really nice. Um, it's definitely been a while, but um, we're getting back to into everything. And so um, it's been nice to kind of like, it feels like not a lot has been as normal as it has been in the past, but um, this definitely is as close to normal as we can get. And that's kind of nice having like a constant. <clears throat> it yeah. A little bit about the last four months and obviously you're back on campus mm -hmm. now but how were you able to to stay sharp and, and keep your skills improving uh, when there wasn't the gym <clears throat> um really uh for me i w i was going to the park and um my dad he's played a big role in um uh where i am now so like he's trained me a lot and so it was nice to kind of do that again like old times and so that's how I kind of like stayed up on my stuff is he was training me and it was kind of nice because it kind of like kept me in the, um, I guess in like the kind of like the coach and player setting, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, I kind of, and having that one-on-one -on -one was nice too. Well, I'll tell you what, so much obviously <clears throat> right now with coronavirus and then of course the, the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, uh, protests and, you know, we're really starting to see college athletes start to use their voice a, a little bit more. We've seen, well, <clears throat> mm -hmm. we, I know you're part of that student athlete advisory committee. Tell us about uh, your experiences over the last couple of months and what kind of conversations maybe that you've been having with other student athletes and with some of your own teammates. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely um, sparked a lot of conversations and we've been having a lot of like conversations about it, like um, as far as like between the team and um, teammates and it's been nice to kind of like have um, a lot of those conversations just to talk about it and as far as um, the um, the committee it's just been um, nice to have um, the conversation with them as well and it's just like we've been having like a town hall meeting and stuff where everybody can voice their opinion and just say what they feel and kind of like learn and we learn from each other and so that's been nice all right well i know time goes by uh, really fast you're mm -hmm. a senior on this year's team and I gotta tell you <clears throat> at the roster and talking to coach williams a couple of weeks ago there's a lot of new faces uh on this mm -hmm. freshman coming in you have some division one transfers that are immediately eligible some that have sat out um mm -hmm. last year i'm just curious uh, how do you see your role going into this season as one of the elder statesmen and, and and really one of the players that has been in fort collins now going on your fifth year mm -hmm. um i feel i see myself as um a lead a leader role as far on the team and as um and just having as many new faces as we have right now i think it's definitely important for us to um communicate with each other and i know right now we can't really like do we we're social distancing right now and so i, I know that's like kind of hard but like um i think what was important um was to i guess what i'm trying to say is when we when the new people came on their visit like i think that was like an important time because that's when we did like have some communication because i know there's some people who didn't come um, on a visit. And so that's kind of, yeah, that's important. I think just communication is important because, and just to keep on having that leadership role and to help them, um, what's the word, help them. Um, oh, a little bit uh, better maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like just kind of like integrate into like everything and stuff, yeah. Well, listen, I'll, I'll let you run on this. Uh, tell me a little bit. Uh, I, I, have you had a chance to to uh, 
see some of the skill sets of some of the freshmen coming in or, or some of the, uh, the graduate transfers that, that are going to be playing? Have you got an idea of what, uh, what kind of players are coming into the program? Yes, um, I'm excited to play with them. They work really hard, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited, especially, like, the competition and just, like, when we do start practice, um, like, official practice, and we're able to um, compete with each other, I think it's going to be really fun, and I'm excited for that. Absolutely. <clears throat> we're all excited to, to see college sports hopefully uh, pick up in the coronavirus, maybe. Mm -hmm go the other way so yeah <laughs> yeah really appreciate you taking some time out and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see the women's basketball team on the floor at moby arena sooner than later thank you yes for sure thank you that's leah davis redshirt senior <laughs> state women's basketball team i'm brian roth thanks for watching ram country conversations